Welcome to today's broadcast. Kaku continues his illuminating series titled The Art of Following under the subtitle Steps to the Faith of Abraham. In today's episode, he shares the first step to the faith of Abraham. Let's join in. I want us to read a scripture which tells us the steps. Are you understanding me? And when we follow these steps, I believe that when we are also believing God for something great, we will experience it. Romans chapter 4 verse 17 is a key scripture I want to read from there. It says, as it is written, it's quoting the Old Testament, I have made thee a father of many nations. Before him, whom he, Abraham, believed, even God, who quickens the dead, quickens means makes alive, and calleth the things that be not as though they were. Verse 18. Who against all hope believed in hope that he might, be, he might be the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken. 19. And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. 20. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, believing that what he had promised, he was able also to do. Therefore, it was imputed to him for righteousness. So here the Bible talks about how Abraham became a righteous person and how Abraham obtained the promises of God. And the Bible gives a brief summary of the steps. So what are the steps of faith? Number one, you need a word from God. That's only a word from God. Abraham didn't get up and say, this is what I'm going to do. In Romans chapter 4, verse 17, the Bible says, as it is written, written where? In the book of Genesis. Right now, he's referring to the book of Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. What is written there? So when we go back to Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, it talks about when God instructed Abraham what to do. This is what happened, Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. The Lord has said to Abraham, get thee out of your country and your kindred, kindred means family, and your father's house, that's the, kindred means extended family, and father's house is your nuclear family, unto a land that I will show you, and I'll make of you a great nation, and I'll bless you, and I'll make your name great, and you shall be a blessing, and I'll bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. What happened was, one day, Abraham received a word from God. And when he spoke to him, he gave him four blessings. First of all, number one, he said, I will make you a great nation. Number two, he said, I will bless you. Number three, he said, I will make your name great. One of the big blessings that God can give to you is a good name. A good name is always better than riches. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your children. Let an anointing come upon our names. That when people see that name, doors will open. In Jesus' mighty name, somebody shout amen. amen. So number one, he said, I'll make of you a great nation. Number two, he said, I will bless you personally. Three, he said, I will make your name great. Number four, he says, and you shall be a blessing. Then number five, he said, I will bless them that bless thee. And number six, he said, I will curse them that curse thee. Anybody who curses you, God said, I will curse him. In other words, God says, your enemies are my enemies. What a blessing. You know, as I stand here, I'm a pastor. But in my journey to become a pastor, it started with a word from God. One day I went to pray in my father's house at the rooftop. And for the first time in my life, I saw Jesus. And on that day, he gave me a promise. He said to me, you are going to be a teacher of God's word and a prophet. And he said to me, I will send you to many nations. And you will preach to many, many, many people. Meanwhile, I had just finished SS. When I received that word from the Lord, 
It was the beginning of my steps of faith. So I said to myself, as I have received this word from God, then I am going to follow it. I'm not saying everybody will see a vision. Sometimes you may even be reading your Bible. And for the next two weeks, three weeks, that verse is on your heart. Strongly. Do you know what is happening? God is talking to you. So sometimes when an idea comes into my heart and it stays there for a very long time, nothing seems to take it away. I know that I have received a word from God. And with that word, when I add my faith, it will work. Put your hands together for Jesus. That's how it works. Thanks for joining us on today's broadcast. Today we learned that the first step to the faith of Abraham is that you must receive a word from God either through a vision, dream, or conviction. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Swollen leg healed. Dear Prophet, I wrote to you asking for prayer for my brother whose leg was severely swollen. To the glory of God, he has been healed of every sickness. God be praised. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.